Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Pete Gang. Just want to talk a little hip hop and shit. You know, um, I've been meaning to make this video for a minute, man, because like it need to be said the shit. I told y'all I was going back, to, going back to making hip hop videos, man, and talking about some hip hop, man. Because I'm gonna be completely honest, man. I don't like what I'm seeing in hip hop. I don't like all this kumbaya shit. This fake ass. You know what I'm saying? Let's all be cool. And, and 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 as I said before, man, I listened to a lot of different rap when I was growing up. And to be honest with you, I like what I had when I was growing up. It was a lot of variety. And as I said before, this rap today is just pure garbage. All these fucking rappers sound alike. The beat sound alike. The lyrics sound alike. You know what I'm saying? They had the same flow, same type of lyrical content. A lot of these new age rappers can't rap worth shit with the exception of Kendrick Lamar and, 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 and J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? Guys like that. You know what I'm saying? Mozzie, he got rhyme skills. You know, of course, you know, J. Stalin. J. Stalin been around for a while. So, you know, guys like that. Sort of like what you call the the mid 2000 rappers like you know the Jay Stalin guys cause I fuck with Jay Stalin I think he's a very talented rapper but this you know post 2012 age of rap the the, the, the walk of flock of flames and those type of dudes they just garbage man it, it's very few rappers that I pay attention to you know what I'm saying because they just don't bring nothing to the table and shit you know what I'm saying they all sound alike and shit and and you know, it's just, I, I don't need that. You know what I'm saying? You young motherfuckers talking about this y'all time. Y'all time is fucked up. We tried to pass the torch to y'all, but then, you know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't keep it lit. Y'all let the torch, you know, you know, blow out and shit. You supposed to keep it lit. And y'all just brought a lot of bullshit to this, to this rap and shit. And the funny thing with me, right, I've been accused of, you know, I'm always accused of being, being, you know, racist and all that type of shit. You know, I've been accused of being racist towards Mexicans, racist towards whites, racist towards Asians, which, like I said before, I don't give a fuck whether you think I'm racist or not. I really don't. Because, like I said, you only, you only call me racist when I, I clap back at the people that make racist comments towards me. As I said before, you motherfuckers love to play the victim. And as I said before, I've been listening to rap forever. I grew up to the shit. And I'm going to tell you something. You know, like I said, I really don't like the rap that's out now. Because like I said, it's garbage. I don't want to listen to no, no white rapper that think he black. Or try to rap like he black. I don't want to listen to no confused, you know what I'm saying, uh, suspect, Mexican rapper from... from Brooklyn and shit that don't know whether he want to be black, Mexican, you know what I'm saying, a member of, you know, the LGBT, you know, motherfuckers like that. So, I don't, you know, I just don't want to see that shit. Like I said, I grew up in the days of a trial call quest, you know what I'm saying, too short, gang star, you know what I'm saying, all that type of shit. Outcast. That's the shit that I grew up to. And one thing I liked about it, it was variety. And I'm going to tell you something else. Like I said. I liked uh, rappers that wasn't necessarily uh, black. One of my favorite songs like back in the day was this song called. Uh, uh, damn, what was the name of that song? Uh, I think it was called Chilling in the Park. Oh, on a Sunday afternoon by um, a lot of Shade of Brown. They were some Hispanic rappers. I don't know where the fuck they was from. I think they was from Southern California. And, you know, another rapper I listen to now, Mr. Criminal out of Los Angeles. You know, I listen to uh, Burner. I listen to, used to listen to a little Kid Frost. You know, I never bought the albums, but I used to watch their they videos and listen to them and shit. And then, of course, um, I listen to the BC Boys, and I'm gonna tell you something. Any nigga that say they didn't bump license to ill, I don't give a fuck how you know what I'm saying, how super conscious you is, you a motherfucking lie. Everybody in their mama had license to ill by the BC Boys. 
back in that day. But what I liked about the Beastie Boys, they were white. They didn't try to pretend to be black. They let you know they were white. Now, third base, I used to listen to third base. Third base was cool, but to a certain degree, I thought third base was a little too niggerish for me at times. Because I thought MC Search and Prime Minister Pete Nice used to be trying too hard. But they had good material. You know, Everlast, he was cool. You know what I'm saying? Terry B, she was a wigger. She was fake as fuck. So I wasn't really into her. You know what I'm saying? So I did grow up listening to, you know, non-black rappers. But see, here's the thing. I like to hear what the other side brought to the table. I wanted to hear what it was like growing up in the Mexican hood or growing up Asian, growing up, you know what I'm saying, being a white kid from the suburbs. So I appreciated that shit. It's cool. And what nothing wrong with that. Hearing, you know what I'm saying, Mexican rappers talk about how it is in the barrio and, and, and that type of shit. It was cool. I did that shit. Ain't nothing wrong with you know, hearing and, and feeling how the other side lives. But then the problem is when we try to tell people our struggle, they try to blow blow us off and try to, you know, make it look like what we talking about don't exist. And that's the problem that I always had. Ain't nothing wrong with you being white and, and, and rapping. You know what I'm saying? I never had a problem with that. But when you start coming with the yo, 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 and then you start, you know, crossing the line and shit, and you a white rapper and all that shit, and you using the N-word like it's going out of style and shit. No, I'm 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 good with you. That's one reason why I don't listen to that uh that Asian chick, Honey Cocaine. And she kind of can rap. But if you didn't know what she looked like, if you heard her on the radio, you wouldn't even think she was Asian. She I ain't never heard nobody use the N-word like she do. And then Honey Cocaine, she said something that totally like made me not support her, not even a little bit. She had a so-called black boyfriend who committed suicide, and you know when they asked her about it, she the way she she was she responded to it, I was like, man, fuck this bitch. And I just see that a lot. With a lot of these non-black rappers. And we didn't let them get too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And the same thing with Eminem. Eminem never to me came across as a wigger. He hung around black people. Now, I know Eminem has some controversy. I, I You know what I'm saying? With the so-called tape that he put out. That Suge Knight tried to release. And Eminem took him to court. And blocked Suge Knight from releasing it. But at the end of the day, I never heard it. And I still continue to support Eminem. I bought his albums. Everybody knows that. I bought like his first four albums. But then Eminem to me, he fell off. He started making whack music. And then the problem is with guys like Eminem, Eminem got to the point, or should I say his fans started, were acting like in boxing Triple G fans. And I felt like the media let Eminem off the hook quite a few times with some of his material. They knew his albums were bad. But then they were scared to criticize Eminem because they were scared of the backlash that they was going to get from these uh, white hip-hop fans, which who gives a fuck what they think? If your shit is whack, your shit is whack. And you had a lot of these radio stations being dishonest. Eminem put... I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. Eminem ain't put out good music in a while. I'm sorry. He hasn't. And it ain't got nothing to do with him being white. He just didn't put out good material. Everybody make whack albums. And it don't matter how, you know what I'm saying, what color they is. Snoop's Dog, um, I think the Dog Father, that was one of his second album. That was one of the worst fucking albums I ever heard in my life. I was damn near single-handedly through with Snoop Dogg after that album. Busta Rhymes, Anarchy, that album was pure fucking garbage. Garbage. You know what I'm saying? And then MC8, pretty much every album he made after We Come Strap was garbage. Or wasn't that good. 
I mean, you gotta, you know, you gotta keep, keep, you, you know, what I'm saying, you gotta keep it 100. Everybody make whack albums, but the problem is, certain people got passes for putting out bullshit. Eminem is just selling off his name. Eminem is selling off the shit that he put out like in the early 2000s, because that last album he put out was trash. It was fucking trash. So I'm just keeping it 100. I I don't have no problem, like I said, with non-black rappers as long as you stay in your lane. Don't come with this shit. I got a black wife or a black baby daddy, so you know what I'm saying. So I can say this and I can say that. That was the problem with that bitch, Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea was a fucking white chick from Australia, and then Iggy Azalea, she was she she was on her way. To superstardom, but then she started talking too reckless, started saying stupid shit, and now you know what I'm saying. She, she got her ass shut down. When she came with that stupid comment, "Oh, I earned the right to say the N word on my record, bitch." What the fuck is you talking about, bitch? What? Cause you fucking Nick Young? Nah. And see, that's the message to you mousepad monsters that think y'all can stand in front of these whack-ass rappers and protect them and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because as I said before, the difference between my generation and y'all generation, people still talk about kid play. People still talk about Heavy D and the Boys. People still talk about Too Short. People still talk about Outkast. People still talk about Biggie. People still talk about Tupac. But let me ask you, you motherfucker, something. You fake ass mouse fat monsters. In 15 years, is people gonna care about Walk a Flock of Flame? Maybe even Meagles. And they good. But you gotta have, you gotta make album that impact society and shit. They ain't no NWA. You know what I'm saying? I think Kendrick Lamar, people gonna still be listening to him 20 years from now, him and J. Cole. Even possibly Nipsey Hussle. Because they put out solid material. But all these other fly-by-night rappers, garbage-ass rappers, Lil Yachty and all them people, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think so. They're going to be a distant memory within three to four years. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought Drake was going to be like a three-year rapper. But Drake is still around. But then again, as long as he got those ghostwriters, he'll be able to make it. You know what I'm saying? I don't need, you know, me, myself, I don't see what's special about Drake, but hey, it is what it is. But Drake didn't come across as a fake-ass mumble rapper. He did try to rap, and then he sung a little bit, then he, he acted. So, you know what I'm saying? He can do a lot of different things. But like I said, this new generation, I'm not feeling this shit. Because these it's too much fakeness. All of a sudden, you got all these industry blood rappers. You know, some of them, you know, coming out of nowhere. Just, I mean, waking up in the morning and literally, literally just saying, I'm going to call myself a blood rapper. Or, you know... Getting pressure put on by these fake ass record labels. Because they think that's what you need to do. And one thing I can't stand is a non-black rapper promoting violence among black men. And aligning himself with a pretty much predominantly black gang. And you can save all the non-black rappers that was, you know, bloods and all. I know about Cypress Hill. But see, here's the thing about Cypress Hill and be real though. Be Real didn't really make so that many songs about gang banging and shit. Oh, so, you know what I'm saying? Next. But anyway, man, real talk, they need to be some order, you know, put back in hip hop. They shouldn't be letting these motherfuckers come in here and dis and disrespect black rap icons, especially if you're not black yourself. 
I don't want to hear this shit about you entitled to your opinion and all that bullshit. Well, to a certain degree, keep your motherfucking opinion to yourself. Because it's been, apparently, if you a certain color, you can't say shit about Donald Trump without them trying to fuck with your money and shit. So it's just certain shit you need to keep to yourself and shit. Don't come in something that was started and dominated by us and then think you could disrespect motherfuckers. Especially if they not here. Real talk. Stay in your motherfucking envelope, man. Real talk. If you gonna rap, just rap. But stop perpetrating the fraud, cause a lot of these, uh, a, a lot of these motherfuckers is fake as fuck. Like I said, I'm telling you, if you caught out of all, out of out of every ten rappers, let's say you caught nine of them solo, no security, none of that shit, and you was ready to whoop their motherfucking ass, I guarantee you. They'll either hand you some money and beg you not to kick their ass, or they'll be like, oh man, you know, it ain't what it what it is. I'll just say that shit. I guarantee you they'll start drop sessions on the record labels or either on the agents or the management company. How much you want to bet? Because I know this shit. I told you I'm dabbled in this shit. I know more than what you motherfuckers think. But anyway, just wanted to put that out there, man. I'm out.